Get out of the way here. Get Liz cheering. Yeah. Yeah, I can cheer. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, well, I'll just start from the ground up. You know? Okay. You know, first thing, you know, we, we talk about the feet, we'll go from the ground up. Uh, you know, we see a lot of kids, well, then we have open stances. Okay. You know, for me, I want my feet completely square. Okay. Square, square to the pitcher. Okay. You see a lot of them will be closed like this. We see some kids here today that had some closed, closed stances. So, the main thing is just get their, get their feet square. Okay. Uh, as far as their weight, you know, I'm a big fan of my weight being hey, in the middle of my body. Okay. If my weight's in the middle of my body, okay, and my first move as a hitter is going to be my front leg, okay, to load up. If my weight's in the middle of my body, then my weight's going to be back. Okay. That, that's a big key to me. I'm not a big fan of my weight being back on my back, back leg like this over my knee. This causes too much stress as a hitter. If my, my, my weight's over my knee like this, you see a lot of kids do this. Then what they do is they want to push off and they get on the front side. Okay. So for me, I like my weight in the middle of my, middle of my stance. Okay. Right here. So my first move is this. Okay. Then then I know my weight's back. If I do this right here, then I know my weight's back. You'll see a lot of kids who do the knee turn. They got a lot of different ways to get their weight back. But for me, you know, picking that leg up right there and putting it down, striding a little bit out here. That that's that's a perfect perfect uh, way to get my weight back. Um, as far as my stance goes, okay. You know, you know, the big thing, I see a lot of kids doing this, and I correct them 24-7 is they want to do this and tuck their weight under like this. Okay? They want to hit like this, they got the weight under like this. When I have my weight, my, my, my butt tucked under me like this, then I tend to swing around the baseball like this, okay? And then I lose, lose balance, okay? Any, any good, you know, uh, you know, sport, we want to be balls our feet in athletic position. Basketball, we want to be in athletic position. Same thing as this, okay? I want to be in the athletic position. I want to wait on the balls of my feet, okay? The best way to do that is if I have my feet locked out and I lean over a little bit like this, okay? My weight's on the balls of my feet. I'm on, I'm on the verge of almost falling over. From this position, I keep my weight, my butt out here, okay? And then I bend my legs. Notice I didn't do this and go like this, okay? Which a lot of kids do. Yeah, it's going to do that. I'm going to go like this and I'll go, Ooh, and I'll tuck the weight <laughs> underneath them like this, okay? So we still have our weight on the balls of the feet and my weight's right here. My rear end's tucked out a little bit, and I'm in this position, okay? This allows me, as a hitter, okay, to cover the whole plate. Okay, as a hitter, I want to cover the whole plate. Okay? Here, I cover the inside part of the plate, okay? This, I cover the whole plate. Meaning, when I take my stride and my hands go back, and I'm in this position here, I stay in this position here, okay? I stay in this position, my weight's over the, over the plate. If my weight's over the plate, then I'm able to drive the ball to right center. If my weight's not on a plate, that means they end up like this, and I'm falling over like this. Okay, I'm getting around the baseball. As far as my hands and my feet, the biggest thing that I do not see is separation between my hands and my feet. Did you want me to put this on YouTube? Yeah. I will do it for you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, hands and my feet, okay? You got a lot of hitters, okay? You got Jose Batista, you got A-Rod, you got all those people that start with a leg kick, okay? They can start how they want, okay? Euclid, you know, okay? But when they pick their leg up and they go forward to the baseball, my hands have got to go back. That's the biggest thing that if I can tell any kids to do, I've got to have my hands go back when I go forward to the baseball, okay? If I'm in this one up, when my hands go back and I'm forward to the baseball, it keeps me from one thing, from overstriding. I mean, I can push my hands here and do this, and I'll never overstride. If I'm in this position, this is a good position. I can hit from this position right here, and my hands are here. Another thing is, when my when my front foot lands, there should be a line right here off of my back foot to my hands. This is the position I need to be right here. This, this is how far my hands need to go back right here. From here, all that happens with the swing is knob, knee, to the baseball right here. This, this move right here. My weight goes into this front leg, knob, Knee. Here comes my hands, and here I am in this position right here. My head's down here. I got my palm up right here, my good power position. My front leg is firm. My front leg is closed. Okay. I need my front leg closed. That allows me to have balance. And up right here, follow through the finish. My head down here. Right here. That's it. Pretty much it. Bat position. Bat position. Bat position. We see a lot, a lot of kids. They all want to lay the bat flat. Okay. They'll do this. A lot of kids go back. And they'll lay the bat flat and they'll get the bats behind their heads like this, okay? Very rough for me to keep my hands inside the baseball, okay? Or, or think about this. How am I going to hit a low pitch if my bat's flat like this? To hit a low pitch, we hit a low pitch, we hit it like this. 
Uh, this is how we hit a low pitch. We got to go down and get the baseball. Okay, but if my bat's flat like this, how am I going to hit this low pitch? Right? I can't go like this and go and do that. That's what I'd have to do pretty much. So I like my bat position to be about a 45, 45 degree back like this in this position right here. I like the distance for my bat to be right off of my bat shoulder here. Okay, just because if I bring it into this, this close to my ears, which a lot of people teach here like this, keeping the hands in here like this, if you're facing 90, 95 mile an hour, this is too far for me to go. Look, look how far I have to go to get my launch position. That's too far to go. Okay, I'm doing this and I have to rush and here I am just playing catch up with the baseball and now I'm hitting stuff off that way. Okay, so that's why I like the bat a little bit off my back shoulder. So all I have to do is from there to there. Okay. Uh, like I said, bat, bat up like this, try not to lay it flat, one other thing, you watch every good hitter in baseball and they all have hand movement, they all have something doing this, they all have something that's movement, okay, something that's in motion tends to stay in motion, if my hands are moving like this, I got a little movement, and I start my leg, then my hands are going to go back, okay, I can't start here from a dead steal and then expect them to go back like that, okay, my hands are moving like nice and loose, nice and loose movement, I pick up my leg, and then I go back, and they'll go back. That's it. Thank you, bud. Thank you, Coach Phil. That was on the spot, wasn't it?